I'm Kevin Erickson. I'm the school board president, and I'm also a veterinarian here in the community. My name is Luann Eggert, and I am the transportation director. My name is Jennifer Peterson, and I teach transitional kindergarten at Custer Elementary School. What's going on, guys? My name is Landon Hatchett. I went to Ferndale High School. I went to Vista Middle School. I've been through the Ferndale School District my whole life almost. I currently go to the University of Washington, and I play football here as well. I just want to take a second and get on this video and talk about mental health. The importance of mental health for me is right up there, if not more important than uh, my physical health. If I don't have good mental health, I feel like I can't have a good day, you know, on the field, off the field, at school. For some of us, we're so busy trying to make it look like we have everything together that we can convince ourselves that we do when we don't. Sometimes we try to, you know, play the tough role, you know, I. I'm not having any problems. I'm good. I've got this covered. At the end of last season, I tore my ACL, uh, which is a nine to 12 months recovery. And I'm currently four and a half months into that. So that was kind of a rough time for me, especially at the very beginning. I, uh, I kind of got into like dark space. I didn't really want to talk about it. You know, there's sometimes when you just want to close yourself off and not see anyone or talk to anyone. And those can be some pretty dark times, but you have to reach out. For a lot of people, I think uh, opening up about your issues, especially mental health issues, is pretty scary. But once you learn to get past that barrier, uh, being able to open up and talk about it is huge. Don't hold it inside if you're having a stressful time or a stressful moment. Um, share those things with people. Use the supports around you. Um, none of us can do it alone. In my head, it's a big, scary idea or a big scary scenario and once I tell my husband about it then it becomes less scary, less big and I'm not alone in figuring out how to conquer it. I had everything in the world going for me, friends, great great life, great job and just was not happy. Um, and there was just a lot of things going on in my head. So I um, reached out to my doctor. It's okay to ask for help early on, um, as in a counselor or someone who's been through the stage of parenting or the stage of career that you've already been in. A couple of things I do for my mental health each day is I make sure to get out of bed and uh, exercise. Sometimes I'll just go out and walk around the track in our on our playground just to calm my thoughts and gather myself and get ready for what is coming next. I do take uh, medication and then I also uh, recently started doing um, some little things when I feel myself getting anxious uh, because I also have anxiety. I um, just kind of close my eyes and listen to every little sound that I can hear. Feel free to be a little bit vulnerable to those people in your life that you can trust um, and, and seek out people that you can trust and, and share with that can help you through those times. And keep going. Know that there's so many people out there that care and love you and this is just one bad phase of your life. It will get better.